All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television show in the history of the world. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, both, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing Elizabeth George, Payment in Blood. This is book number two in her Inspector Lindley British Mystery Series. This came out in 1989. I have reviewed, read and reviewed book number one in the series, um, A Great Deliverance. If you want to see that review, just type in A Great Deliverance in my last name and a review will come right up. Um, now we are to book number two. I plan on reading this entire series in order of publication. And uh, I think there's about 20 books in the series so far, uh, maybe more. I've got some of them here. And we're going to talk about a little bit here in a, a minute when we talk about the covers. But the Inspector Lindley series, one of my favorite mystery series of all time, probably top five. Elizabeth George is definitely one of my top five mystery writers of all time. I've actually met her a couple times, had her sign my books. You know I love showing off my signed book collection. Anyway, let's jump into this review first with the cover because we always review covers because I love graphic design and cover illustration. Let's talk about the cover here. This is a weird cover for me. Um, you know, most of the, um, I've got I've got a bunch of them here that I brought to show you that, you know, the I've got some of the paperbacks here. They all look pretty nice together. The spines look like they all match. This one would fit right here. Um, anyway, uh, it's got this lacy, lacy, I mean, most of the covers of the Inspector Lindley novels have like these great British scenes to them. Like uh, this is the latest one, a great scene of Britain. Like all of them got like, uh, they just look like mystery novel covers, you know? Uh, scenes of uh, rocks and mountains, castles, cathedrals, what have you. This one, however, It's got the lacy, I don't know, it makes it feel like it's, I'm reading a romance novel. I don't know. I don't like it. I just don't like it. I'm going to tell you, I don't like it. That's my review of the cover. All the other covers, pretty fucking dope. This one, less dope than the others, by a long shot. What is the Inspector Lindley mystery series about? Well, it's about Inspector Lindley, of, uh, you know, and, uh, and uh, his uh, cohort, uh, Barbara Havers. In fact, I would say the series is more about Havers than Lindley, although we call it the Inspector Lindley series. Barbara Havers is, gets equal, if not more, time on screen than Lindley, and they are a pair of investigators that work together to solve murders in England and around about England and stuff. And this one actually happens in Scotland. Yes, book number one uh, happened uh, in England. This one, uh, she takes us to Scotland to a uh, manor house. There's a manor house. It's sort of an Airbnb type of place. It's like a big, huge manor house that they've turned into sort of a resort. And at this resort, um, there is a famous playwright and her troupe of actors and actresses have come to this manor resort to holiday and to practice their play, do whatever, you know, whatever they're doing there. And turns out there's a murder okay so someone is murdered and now we've got this cast of characters all of this troop of actors and actresses um all of them with differing personalities with differing um drama between them all you know different relationships different affairs happening different things like this and that different rivalries some of them hate each other because some of them have better parts in the play that you know there's a lot of jealousy not only that we mix in the um people that work at the manor house the people that run the manor house they're all potential um people that could have committed this murder right and uh you know we've got the owner of the place we've got the servants we've got this kid that uh just started working there who's got a crush on one of the female staff which is a little creepy. All of these people are in the manor house and there's the murder. And so now enter our um, 
three, actually, there's three investigators that come up from London to investigate this murder in Scotland, and it's uh, Barbara Havers, Inspector Lindley, and it's uh, forensics expert St. James. <coughs> and forensics in expert St. James, he's in a lot of the books because they use him a little in the whole, he's in the whole series. Um, so they come up to uh, figure out this murder. And everybody just is kind of not allowed to leave the manor house. It's, it's really like, kind of like one of those old Agatha Christie setups, you know, where um, Hercule Perot or whatever his name is, is stuck on a, a, a boat on the River Nile or something, or on the, on the train in the Alps and nobody can leave and there's been a murder and everybody is kind of stuck in this place. I don't know what they call those type of murder mysteries, but they're just like, the location is part of the plot, you know, that's kind of like this, the manor house is part of the plot and um, nobody can leave the manor house until the murder is solved, which in reality, that's just not the way you go about an investigation at all in reality. I mean, if a murder happens in a manor house, um, you know, they pretty much clear the crime scene. They pretty much, everybody out of this place, we're gonna, and, and so everybody goes home and they, but uh, no, in, in these stories, uh, everybody has to, nobody, nobody can leave. Anyway, that being said, um, is a pretty good book. Uh, the uh, if you want to watch the television show, there's a uh, great, great the Inspector Lindley series is great, and they film all of these books, and they do a pretty good job of sticking to the books. <coughs> Excuse me for that. They do a pretty good job of sticking to the books, and um. Idris Elba plays one of the actors in the troupe of actors and actresses that show up in this story. And I think it was one of his very, very first roles he ever did. He's very young looking in it. Um, anyway, that's just an aside. I give this a solid 8 out of 10. I do believe that the earlier Elizabeth George novels are not quite as good as her later ones. Um, these are This is probably about 450 pages. Most of her later works are about eight or nine hundred pages just really really involved mysteries are just really good so anyway that's my review of payment in blood